Bachi started in 5200 BC in Egypt. Uh, they saw uh, uh, pictures on cave walls that they were playing with stones back then. And then after that, later on, uh, the Romans started playing bocce. And uh, during the war times, uh, people would play bocce but not attend to the war. And it was banned for like uh, 20 years uh, during the Roman Empire. And they didn't want nobody to play bocce because when you start playing bocce, you forget everything else. We need more bocce today with all the stresses going on throughout the, the country and the world. Everyone can play bocce. Like I said, you could be five years old, you could be 95 years old. What I'm trying to do is get it into the schools. You could get the parents and grandparents in the schools and go play with the other kids, different nationalities coming together over a bocce match. If you play with my kids or your kids, uh, all these nationalities, there's less fighting. We get to know each other better, and we need more of that. Have a program where you go into the schools and play bocce. Every school in the country, every playground should have a bocce court. Okay, so Red would go here, right? Red's visitors, right? So the score is two to one. Now, whoever scores would go first. That's your team, right? I was reading the Hartford Current, and there was an article in there on planets, and it hit me like there's nine bocce balls and there's nine planets in our solar system. Then I created these bocce characters from uh, Mercury, uh, which is the closest to the sun, all the way to Pluto, and I nicknamed Pluto Polino. And I also gave them digits. For instance, like Jupiter is uh, 51, and I nicknamed them boards, the sideboards of bocce. And 51 means Jupiter is fifth from the sun to five, and one means these are largest planets so kids can learn. I also nicknamed Pluto Polino, small planet, small ball. I gave him a digit of 99, means he's ninth from the sun, ninth smallest planet. And our, our most popular uh, character with the kids coming into my store here in Springfield is planet Mars, and I nicknamed Mars Rafa. Rafa in Italian means throw the ball with great velocity like the Rafa shot. Uh, and I named, gave him a number of digits of 47 means Mars is fourth from the sun and seventh largest planet so kids can learn. And I turned Mars into a big helium, 40 feet high, 40 feet wide, uh, a bocce balloon that it takes 35 people to hold in a different parades around the country that, to promote the sport of bocce. My, I got bocce dreams. There's nine planets and there's nine bocce. There's nine uh, bocce balls, so I came up with nine different sodas. Well, they say there's another planet in their solar system after bocce, so I just to uh, have some fun with a little friend of mine, uh, we came up with this idea, call it the mystery drink, Planet X. Down the road will be a planet after Pluto, so we're already prepared. <laughs> Hit that board. Nice this shot. Is, you don't have to be athletic to play bocce. A little mind game, a lot of strategy, simple to learn, but a lot of, uh, a lifetime to master this, this, this great sport. I wish more people could do more with it. Okay, so Red's closer. You can stand on the side, stand on the side. The punta shot is to get real close uh, to the Polino, and really soft, off your fingertips, really just soft shot, try to get as close as possible. Punta is getting close. Rafa with great velocity, try to smash the balls out. And then the other shot uh, is the Volo shot, is, is an air shot. Those are the three shots of bocce. It's got to get into the Olympics. It will get into the Olympics. We've got to organize a little bit better, you know, communicate less meetings. After the third meeting, bring a shovel. But it, 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 it'll happen. But when you got curling and you got beach volleyball, curling with the broom, how many people do that? That's in the Olympics. We don't have bocce. I don't understand that.